Yeah, if you guys think southern accents are funny, you guys should, uh, you guys should hear an authentic life, like, Pittsburgh-born Pittsburgh person talk, because he, it's Why? like they're speaking another language. Really? What do they say? One like? time, they're just, it's, they, is a lot a, of Is that a southern accent over in Pittsburgh? No, we're in, like, northeast of the country, you big noob. But, like, well, instead of you guys, accent, no, instead of you guys, they say yins. Instead of up there, what? they say up air. Instead of, uh, <laughs> and all, and everything that's like, okay, so down, D O W N, is Dan. And so is town. Town <laughs> is tan. So they say Dan Tan. And like, uh, say clown, like clan. That's just interchangeable. A H oh, is instead fuck? of O W. That's gay. And, um, Yins is my favorite. Everyone Yins. says Yins. And down Wait, what does yins? What does yins mean? Yins means you guys. Oh, so like, okay, use it in a sentence. Are yins going to McDonald's? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I like the example too. Are yins going to make McDonald's? Hi, my name is Joanne. How may I help, yins? <laughs> uh, hi, Joanne. Uh, what's good on the menu? Well, if you look down there, there's really good chicken waffles or something. I don't know. I'm just fucking talking out of my ass and. They, uh, there's this thing downtown Pittsburgh called the Tube. It's like really long tunnels. And uh, my dad's favorite thing to do is he'll ask people, uh, hey, do you know how I get downtown? And they'll go, yeah, you go Rat 30, then you go True to Tube, and go then rat you're, 30, bam, huh? you're Dantan. Rat. Like rat, like the, but the rodent rat. Yeah, yeah. Instead of rat. Rat, rat 30. Yeah, you go Rat 30, well, go True to Tube, like then you're right there at Dantan. Like, I'm I'm not even doing it justice, honestly. One time when I was staying here, these construction guys showed up to fix the porch, and my sister and I went to the door. And they just talked so fast, with so many strange words, that we were just, uh, okay. I didn't have any idea what any of them said. They were just fucking, it's insane. I'm sure if you Googled it, Google Pittsburghers talking. It's not Pits like so. <laughs> Wait, do they really call them Pittsburghers? <laughs> they call themselves Pittsburghers, and they call <laughs> and they call that's the not, accent. That's not. That's not. That can't be real. They it's don't really call themselves 3, Pittsburghers. Three thousand percent. Yes, they do. Oh and my you know what they call God. the that's accent? The best. Okay, they call it, it. They call it Pittsburghese. That's what they call their <laughs> accent. They love it. They love just it. Call it Pits it's a bunch. Just call it Pitts hot dog. It's a bunch of Polish immigrants. Who Polish just dogs love it. Polish dog. Yeah, they have hot dogs galore over here. Dude, yeah, I'm, I'm hungry you're, for hot dog right now. You're fuck, you're laughing at me right now, but I'm well, serious. Well, Pittsburghers is hella funny. Yeah, I know. This is where Wahlburger started. I'm pretty sure the <laughs> Wahlberg Burger place. Or no, they're opening one. That's not where they started. I'm serious though. If once you guys are done watching the stream, just look up Pittsburghers talking. It's insane. Like, legitimately. I don't know, maybe if you're from this area, or if you're from this, like, northeast part of the country, you're gonna be like, Oh, that's not too, sim it's not too different from so-and-so's accent. But, like, if you're from the west coast, like I am, it's fucking mind-blowing. That's funny. Yeah, I've never been, I, the furthest east I've been is, is Michigan. So I've no, I... I like the Michigan accent because it sounds vaguely Canadian, but I mean, other than that, I've never heard, I've never actually been in a place where everybody talks like yeehaw. You know? <laughs> Nobody here says yeehaw. Well, you I know, just... the yeehaw kind of talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love, I love, uh, it's either Pittsburghese or Yinzer because of Yins, but that's it, dude. I'm serious. It's, it's fucking weird, especially since I'm from the West Coast. Oh, and yeah, I've been to Ohio. I've been to Ohio before. I went because we, when we went to Michigan, we went we drove south like three mo three hours to Ohio, and we went to uh, I can always forget the name of the the. There's like a big theme park. It's like one of the biggest theme parks in the world, or the U.S. Cedar Point. Or yeah, whatever. Cedar Point. Yeah, Cedar Point. We went to Cedar Point, Ohio. But we never. I've never actually. I mean, that's as far east as I've been. So. I would like to go to and visit a place like Georgia where everybody like has like you know talks talks about sweet tea. <laughs> I don't even know. 
Another interesting tidbit about Pittsburgh, there's a guy who uh, owns a really tall building, but then a new <laughs> building got built that was taller than his, and he was really mad, so he put this giant, like, spike on top of his building. <laughs> but it was so oh, high up that yeah. it wobbled around, so Pittsburgh was like, the city of Pittsburgh was like, hey man, you gotta take the big spike down. And then he refused to do it, so they went to court over it, and then they won, and then he waited a full two years until the fines ramped up to the max amount they could be, and then he took it down. It's classic Pittsburgh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's goofy. Goes to show some people, like, they don't really grow up. <laughs> this guy's, like, smart enough to get enough fucking money to build a fucking tall building, but when somebody else builds a bigger one, he's just, like, not mature enough to, like, let that be a thing. And all he had to do was, when he was putting it in, is he had to just secure it. But he didn't, because he <laughs> thought it was cool that it waved around. Pittsburgh was like, hey man, that doesn't seem safe, you gotta take it down. And he was like, he's not ha- hello, he's not ha- <laughs> I don't remember what the, uh, what the building's called, but if you Google it, it's pretty funny to read about. Alright, I'll Google tallest building that used to be tallest building, but now it's not tallest building anymore because, uh, somebody changed it. Dude, it was huge on the news, okay? It was huge, huge, literally huge as well. And the dude just wanted his building to be tallest, I guess. <laughs> I, hey, I mean, what are you gonna do? Also, Pittsburgh is uh, one of the only birds in the country <laughs> with H in it. Look, you're laughing. But I'm laughing another... because Berg is like, it's short for burger this in is, my eyes. This is another funny story. Is it was? It's like one of the few major cities with H still left in it. Because a long time ago, the government... It's like, hey, huh. everybody has to get rid of the H, so we're all B-U-R-G, so we're uniform, okay? And Pittsburgh was like, fuck you, federal government, and they just never did it. So, but, if that isn't just Pittsburgh in a nutshell, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, my favorite. you kill one gun, the other gun's still Way to there. think about that building story is, like, you got the biggest dick in town, right? And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, some guy's like, check this out, and his is just like a little bit bigger than yours, so you put like a Coke can in your pants or something. And everybody's like, hey, take that Coke can out of your pants. <laughs> and just for two years, you leave that Coke can in your pants. I'm not taking it out. And then once they find you too much money, you finally take it out. Yeah, they say, you can't, you can't, you're going to have to pay a fine for that Coke can in your pants. <laughs> such an awful analogy but i i, I think it I, you know because i mean it is a dick measuring contest like having the biggest <laughs> fucking building in pittsburgh like who, who cares you know <laughs> hey man you can't just walk around with the coke can in your pants all the time yeah i know but i wanted to have the biggest dick in pittsburgh <laughs> Somebody sees the outline of a Coke can in your pants, you're like, dude, what's wrong with your penis, dude? It's shaped very cylindrical. You, dude, do you have testicle cancer? <laughs> what is going on? Are you okay? I mean, what if somebody accidentally bumps into you and the Coke can explodes? And you've been, you've been jostling that thing around. You're shaking it up. <laughs> it's going to explode. You're going to get Coke everywhere. Dude, he went jogging. Biggest dick in the berg. Biggest dick in the bird. 